Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming to you with my vintage coach collection video. These are some vintage coach handbags that I have acquired over the last few months and um, I was unsure kind of what the order should be for this video since um, I have been doing a little bit of restoration with these bags and I know I've gotten some questions about the products and things I've been using. So I thought what I'd do is I'd go through the bags first, tell you a little bit about each of them, and then I will talk about what I have done to kind of spruce them up a bit. I wouldn't really call it a hardcore restoration, but I have been watching a lot of videos and there are some bags that I think need a little extra love and I will be doing um, some, giving them some extra care soon now that I kind of have the products and, um, and tools to do it. So I'm gonna get started with the bag that started it all, which is right here. This is my Vintage Coach um, Rambler bag. I had to remember, I'm gonna have to Think about all the names of these bags because um, it took a lot of research to even figure out what they were. This is a handbag that I had back in the late 80s, early 90s, I would say. Um, and I had it with the silver hardware, but this one has the brass hardware. And I think I do prefer the brass hardware on vintage coach bags, um, but it is an absolute beautiful bag. Um, I have, as you can well, you haven't seen the before, but this bag was purchased from a consignment store. There were some scratches and some dullness on the brass, and so I spruced it up, and it's looking fantastic, and I just can't stop using this bag. I've also since stuffed all of these bags with air paper, so I'll just give you a brief overview of the bag. It has a little flat pocket in the front and a great flat pocket in the back where I always put my phone when I take this bag out. Um, and then inside the bag, there is one zipper compartment on the back there, and then it is just kind of the raw um, kind of leather on the interior. And these bags, what attracted me to this bag, not only did I have the bag, but was the condition these bags seem to be in after all of these um, years of wear and use. Every bag that I have purchased, I should have started with this, every bag that I've purchased, I've spent under $100, and in most cases, they've been like $40, $50. This one I got for $35 at my local consignment store, um, and it was just in really amazing condition, and um, yeah, I just really, really love this bag. I will try to do some cutaways so you can see what it looks like, but um, it does have these great kind of um, thicker straps with the belt, the little buckles on the side. I love the look of that. And this one did come with the little hang tag. Some of the ones I um, got through kind of online um, did have the hand tags and sometimes they do not. So in any case, this is my vintage um, Rambler bag, my favorite bag that Coach makes and I absolutely love it. Now, anyone who watches this channel knows that I am like a multiples freak, and when I love something, I love having it in multiple colors or styles, and the Rambler bag, like I said, for me is like my favorite bag that Coach makes, so when I saw this one, which is a color I absolutely love, I had to purchase it. Um, this is in the color British Tan, and it is the same bag I just showed you, and she was also in amazing condition. This one also needed a little bit of love, but, um, I was able to get most of the issues that she came with out. Um, the conditioner um, that I use really did do a nice job restoring kind of the shine on the leather of this bag. It has some scratches and some discoloration on the leather, but um, all in all, these are all beautiful sort of um, leather bags, all leather bags, and that is one of the differences between kind of old coach and new coach that I really appreciate is kind of these all leather bags. They do stand the test of time and you're able to really get um, them clean and restored and um, not really have all the staining and issues that you go through with um, when they are lined and stuff on the insides of the bag. So that is the Rambler bag in the British tan color. And my last and most recent Rambler bag that I got for an absolute steal is this one. This is in, I'm not sure if this is dark brown or mahogany. I think it's mahogany, but it has quite a bit of wear on this bag. And this is one of the bags that I will be doing a little bit more of an extensive rehab, which I'll talk about at the end of the video, but um, same bag absolutely gorgeous. It is stuffed with the air paper like the others. And um, 
in really good condition, I would say, but definitely could use a little love. One of the things with this bag is when I got it, it had a lot of sag at the bottom, but since I have kept it stuffed, um, it seems to be doing a little bit better, but I have seen some videos about um, kind of deep cleaning and shaping your bags, and uh, this is one of the ones that will definitely be going through that process, but absolutely gorgeous anyway. This is the dark brown or uh, mahogany, I'm not really sure, um, vintage Coach Rambler bag. So the next two bags I have to show you are the same style and they are the Co Coach Court bags. And these are the ones that I had never owned, but I always admired. They have the little top handle here that lies flat when you are not using it. Um, they also, I should have mentioned on the Ramblers, obviously the straps are removable um, as are these, but in this case, since it's a top handle bag, I love having the removable strap so you could just use it um, that way, but the strap is adjustable and you can wear it as a crossbody or a shoulder bag. Just so much versatility. This bag also has the great back pocket that you can put uh, your phone or whatever you like in there. And then on the inside, let's quickly show you the layout of this bag. There is again that zipper pocket in the back and it is just one big open bag with the kind of raw leather interior. And this one also has her little hang tag on the side and um, she's really beautiful. This one I know is in the color mahogany since it's kind of got that reddish tone to it that is absolutely gorgeous and I just am so in love with this bag. I have it in the black leather as well. I love a black top handle bag. Um, it is one of sort of my favorite style bags to carry. I love the turn lock. I think I'm a huge turn lock girl it's on coach and all of the turn locks and all of the hardware on all of these bags has held up so great. Some of the hardware had a little bit of dinginess and wear, and um, I'll show you what I've used, which is Brasso on that, but they have come out like beautiful after just a little bit of love, and um, yeah, absolutely love this bag. So the next bag I have to talk about is the Coach Scooter bag, and I had this one also back in like the early 1990s, I believe, um, in the color red, and I absolutely love the color of this red. I have always looked, um, I've always loved having a red handbag, and I've always looked for bags that are kind of this tone of red. It's kind of a deeper red. Um, it's a little bit, I guess, blue-toned, but not overly blue-toned. This one just has one big open, um, pocket on the inside and then this flat pocket in the front that is great for a cell phone, which I didn't have back in those days, but <laughs> it's great for that now. And um, it does have a non-adjustable strap that is attached to the bag so you can't remove it. Um, this one does have its hang tag that's <laughs> stuck up there, but here's the little tag. And uh, yeah, I just love this bag. I wore it, wore it so much back in the day. And I will say that I used to tie um, this in like a little, I would make a little knot if I wanted to shorten the strap. So you can actually shorten the strap. And um, this is just such a great bag. And I was so happy to find it. And it's such the perfect color red. I just wanted to quickly show you my uh, Chanel classic flap that I purchased in the red color. So you can see they are a similar tone. They're not exactly the same, but when I found this, it was sort of that perfect deeper um, kind of red color that I am always so drawn to in handbags. So um, yeah, that is the Coach Scooter in the red color. And then I also have this little guy in black and this one um, also has its little hang tag here. And I remember actually purchasing this one because this was the least expensive bag that I purchased. I got this for $30 and um, it was again in such great condition. I just keep it stuffed with again the air paper inside and the strap inside. And I should mention that all of my bags that um, have removable straps, I usually just keep stored with the air paper and the straps inside. Um, but yeah, this is a great little bag. This is just a really easy bag, something that I think will be great for travel, something that's great for just, you know, running errands. And um, I love the layout of it even more now because I am carrying a cell phone these days and I think it's just kind of perfect to carry just your necessities and your phone and um, great little crossbody. And the next coach bag I have to show you is the coach dinky bag. Now this is a bag that I never owned, but I always admired. And I love just the shape and style of these bags. The one thing I wish this bag did have is a little flat pocket here. There is a slightly 
bigger version of this called the penny bag that I have my eye on right now. I may purchase one of those and kind of see which one I like better, but it's a little bit larger than this and it does have the open flap in the back. And what really drew me to this bag um, was that this is the only coach bag that I have. I think all of my bags are made either in the United States or in Costa Rica. And this one is made in New York City, which is a very, um, I'm learning after watching a lot of videos, very rare thing to find, but that means that it was made sometime in probably the 1980s and it is just in amazing condition. Like I hardly had to do anything receiving this bag. The shape was amazing. Um, the leather didn't have really any any serious marks or scratches. This has the, um, the attached strap and there is just a little zip pocket on the inside and I believe the penny bag also has some um, flat pockets on the inside. I really don't like zippers on bags. I'm gonna, I've come to that conclusion. It, I, it depends on the bag, like if it's a handheld bag and a zip closure on the top, kind of like my vintage Louis Vuitton bags, I think that is fine. But um, when I'm wearing a bag on my shoulder and I'm going to get in and out of it, I really don't like zippers on bags. So I prefer to have kind of the turn lock style. Um, maybe that's what led me to love Chanel so much, but. <laughs> Um, I love the turn lock style of the, you know, old coach and the new coach bags. And um, this one, like I said, was in amazing condition. And the other dinky bag that I'm actually using right now is this one. This is in the mahogany brown color and it looks so close to black, but I just wanted to pull them up sort of together. I actually took a picture wearing this. Um, a few days ago and when I posted that on Instagram I think people thought it was black because it is so dark but when you put it into the light you can kind of see it is a really deep brown and again this one was like in just super amazing condition um, and I do have my stuff in here and I did get a question from someone about what you can fit inside and this is what I truly am carrying in this bag right now I've got some tissues I've got a powder, um, I've got my Louis Vuitton clay that matches so nicely. Um, I've got a couple of lipsticks, one's actually a balm and one is a lipstick. And then in the little zip compartment that I don't even bother to zip, I've just got some um, cash and cards in there from, I think that's a gift card, um, and a card that I was using. And again, that's in the back kind of zippered compartment. And I also had my phone inside. So that's what it carries. It's very similar, I would say, in size to the um, Louis Vuitton pochette um, in the smaller size, like the older vintage size. And I would say, and I haven't gotten a penny bag, but I think the penny bag based on like the sizing that I've read online is probably similar to the pochette, um, like the newer model pochette um, in terms of size. So. Yeah, really, really cute. Love it as a little crossbody, a bag that I always have admired the style of but never owned, and now I'm so thrilled to have two of them. And my last vintage coach bag, which is the one that I paid the most for, I paid about $100 after sort of tax and shipping, um, and that is this one. This is the Coach Regina bag, and I have it in the color black. This bag features a removable strap, got this little hang tag here, um, the turn lock closure, and on the inside of the bag, I'm just going to take the air paper out, um, it's just one big open compartment with a zipper in the back, which I really like that layout. Um, I'm realizing that all of these bags have a very similar layout on the inside. I like having that zipper pocket, even though I don't zip it very much. I just sort of stick things in there, and I wish it was a flat pocket, so I wouldn't scratch anything and I wouldn't have to, you know, touch the zipper. I just prefer flaps inside bags, but um, this is a really cute little bag and it also has the flat pocket in the back, which is great for a cell phone. Now, when this bag arrived, I have to be honest, I was like, oh my God, it's so small. <laughs> I, I read the dimensions, but I guess it really didn't occur to me how small this bag is. Like in comparison, it has that same sort of um, Kelly style to it, but it is just so small. It's like a little mini bag. I also just recently found um, in the 1990s, Coach did a collection called the Madison Collection that 
Um, the leather is a little different on those bags, but they did a top handle style that is so similar to a Hermes Kelly, and they're hard to find and come by, but I am watching and waiting online to find the right one. Those bags were actually made in Italy, and they are absolutely stunning, so um, I think I would like to get that as my second sort of top handle, um, truly top handle coach bag. <laughs> um, and this is a really cute one, but the, that one comes in three different sizes, and I think that is the one I'd like to go with. So that is my vintage Regina bag and she's super cute and um, absolutely love her. So that is what I have in my coach collection at this time. As you can tell, I've gone a little bit crazy and I probably will end up selling some at some point, but I was just so excited um, about the fact that these bags have held up so well and that they exist out there and you can find some really great deals. I've also seen a lot of people who are restoring them and selling them for a lot more money, um, which is, you know, something that as, as wonderful as they look, um, I'm just happy right now to be sort of doing my own little restoration projects. I think it's kind of a nice little um, hobby that I have going on and so that is what I've been doing. So I'm gonna show you some of the products that I've been using that I kind of have in this Samorga organizer since I didn't really know where to store them. Um, I had one of these sitting around and that's what I've been using. So uh, the first thing I think I'll start with is, which should I start with? I'll start with the Brasso. So Brasso, um, I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with this. This is something you use to shine up and restore brass. It smells really stinky. Um, and you don't want to get it on the leather of your bag. So I usually will use this with a q-tip and just um, kind of rub it over the tarnished um, brass and it brings it like right to life and then shines it right up with a nice soft cloth. I mean, it is amazing what this stuff can do. And anyone who has some like vintage Louis Vuitton bags, you may be familiar with this because I've used it on those as well, um, just on the hardware. So that is the first product I have been using. The second thing I have been using is from Coach. It is their leather um, cleaner and moisturizer. So I first apply the leather cleaner. This came as a little um, set with this little cleaning cloth that's super soft. You could use any cleaning cloth, but this is almost like a little chamois cloth. Um, but yeah, the leather cleaner I apply first, and this does a great job of just removing any like dirt and grunge from your bag. Um, but you always should follow it up with the conditioner to really restore the moisture. And this is like the magic. I would say if there's one thing that you can do for your handbags to bring them back to life and to kind of reduce the look of scratches and things like that, it is a good leather um, doesn't need to be coached but this leather moisturizer um, is something I picked up on Amazon like I said as a part of a little set um, I actually have a bigger bottle this is the new one but this is the one I had that I was running low on and I would need it to get more um, I'm not sure why they changed the size of this but um, in any case it is amazing stuff and I've seen after watching some restoration videos, if you have really like deep um, scratches and dings and things in your bags, um, there are other products that you can use. I've heard people talk about straight up coconut oil. Um, I've heard some people say that's great. Some people say that's not so great, but that's something I am considering. Um, and there, there's a lot of other just um, products out there available on the market that I am kind of looking at for like a heavy duty conditioner, like a cream sort of based conditioner that you can rub into the leather to kind of um, reduce the appearance of some of those scratches and things like that. So that's something I'm looking into. And I also have in my kit here this um, Kiwi Express Shine little buffer sponge thing. My dad used to use these to shine his shoes and I use this kind of to buff in um, some of the buff out some scratches. Um, I've used it with the cleaner, I've used it with the conditioner, and um, it's it's a sponge, it's a little bit rough, but it's not anything that's going to really like scratch up the leather and it is just a really great little thing to have. So the next three products I'm gonna talk about are not anything that I'm you know, recommending that anyone else do, but I have found that this has worked great for cleaning the inside of my bags. Um, these are products from UGG that I started purchasing years ago for my UGG boots and have been using for a variety of other things with my handbags. So um, it's a sheepskin 
cleaner conditioner, a freshener, and a protector. So the cleaner conditioner I've been using just with a towel to rub through like the inside of my bags when I get them to clean the raw leather. And it has been working like a charm and it smells good and um, it kind of just gets up any dirt inside the bags. And the um, protector, I have not really been using this so much, but um, I have used this in other bags just to protect the inside of um, kind of any kind of cloth lining inside my bag. I did use this, um, again, it's for sheepskin, but I've been using it on my um, kind of raw leather inside my bags and it does kind of, you know, work great for that. And then the, this is the, the product I've been really loving. This is the Sheepskin Freshener, and this just freshens up the scent if you are getting vintage bags that have a little bit of like a old smell. I don't know what to call that. It's just an old vintage smell. Um, this works great on that, and I actually use this on the outside of my Chanel Tweed handbag um, because that bag had like a little smell to it, and so <laughs> it freshened it right up, and it is amazing. So I highly recommend this product, um, even if uh, it's not supposed to be for, it's supposed to be for sheepskin, but it works great on raw leather as well. So just something to consider. And the last little tool I have in my kit also that came with the UGG kit um, has this great little brush that is great for cleaning. Um, it's kind of rough, so I just really use this mostly on like hardware. And then it's got a little buffer here and some great um, little rough edges that are great for the inside of your kind of raw leather on your bags because you can get kind of it almost like pills over time and this is great for removing that i've also used my lint removing tool um, just one of those little battery operated lint removers that really works with that as well i've seen people online say that they vacuum out their bags um, i have found you can actually turn these bags pretty much inside out and um, when i do do a deeper cleaning of these bags that is something i will be doing and trying to really get at anything that's built up in the corners and stuff like that but right now um, these are all the products that i have been using so in terms of my next steps for these bags, I have been watching a lot of videos about kind of deep cleaning them, soaking them um, in kind of dishwashing detergent, a mild dishwashing detergent, and um, letting them air dry, stuffing them with towels, and really, um, you can even remove the hardware. I probably will not go that far because knowing me, I would like screw something up and scratch it, but there's a lot of things you can do to kind of deep clean and restore these bags. Um, I know a lot of people uh, have commented they don't like to buy vintage bags because they don't like the idea that you've got, you know, old stuff sitting around inside the bags. I have been really fortunate that none of these bags have had anything too scary. They may have had like a little musty odor or things like that, but aside from that, they have been in really great condition and just with a little cleaning, um, they have been, you know, pretty much restored to a state that I feel comfortable wearing them and um, have been really enjoying them and I'm just so happy I found this like new hobby and like I said I'll probably sell a few at some point because I'm accumulating quite a little collection here very quickly um, but uh, I I right now I'm just really loving them and so I thought I would share them with other coach vintage lovers and um, if you have any thoughts or ideas suggestions um, please leave them in the comments below in terms of uh, other things I can be doing to really bring these bags to life um, I really appreciate everyone's feedback and I have made so many new friends um, in this community that are vintage coach lovers and um, I thank you for all of your kind feedback feedback and um, appreciate any thoughts that you may have as well on these bags. So that is it for my vintage coach collection. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you all for watching and I will see you soon in my next one.